Welcome back to Rough Restos for another video on the L322. Now, if your L322 is like mine, it's a liar. <laughs> and as an MPG figure on the dashboard is not accurate one bit. Um, it makes it seem kind of good. Well, it doesn't, but it's actually worse than you think. Um, well, at least in my case it is. So, for the past year, I've been recording how much fuel I've used, how many miles I've done per tank, and um, now I've got myself a rough idea of how far it is out. So, let's go through how we recalibrate that and make it somewhat accurate. So over the past year, I've recorded my miles, how many litres of fuel I've used, and what the dashboard's saying, and what it actually calculates to. So, we're roughly off there, we're what, three point, or about, about three miles a gallon out there, Right there, we're about five miles a gallon out. We're there, what, four miles a gallon out. Um, and then we're also here around about four miles a gallon out. So we're averaging about four MPG out. Now, if we pop this into a like an online calculator or use an actual calculator, we can work out percentage difference. And we've got about 12.7% there on the first tank. So I'm just gonna quickly work out what the actual all the percentages are different and average that. So having calculated this, we've got 14.5% difference, 12.7, 20.7, 19, 14 and a half. It seems that the lower MPG, so sort of driving around here, I'm about 20% out. And on longer journeys, I'm around 15% out. So we want to adjust it by sort of a good 15% at least. So let's now go into how we're gonna do that. So what we're going to do is pop in our gap IOD, a tool that every Range Rover enthusiast should really have. <laughs> Tamo ignition and jump into the app. Right, so in our app, we want to jump to car config. Confirm list. IPC instrument pack. And now we want to go down to trip fuel economy adjust. So we worked out we're about 14% out. Or 15 so we're going to want to be going according to this here we're seven percent which is a standard figure so i'm sure that means seven percent over reading so let's wind it right the way back to oh, a good minus well it'd be more like minus seven percent here so let's wind it right back apply that one hit upload changes So that's just going to upload now, um, and in a moment, what we can do is on the next drive, record the mileage again, check and see how accurate it is, and then we can make minor adjustments based on that. So it might not be a one one trip job, but um, within this adjustment now, we should be hopefully a lot more accurate than what we were because it was pretty pretty bad. Oh, and obviously, word of warning: when you upload a new config file, you will end up resetting all your stereo settings, your uh, dates, times, all that kind of such. So, yeah, here's what it is. Turn that off. Yeah, so it has saved it, it's fine. Um, now, the dashboard is covered in faults. That's not unusual at all. Um, when you've reset everything again, it, it does that, so go into your faults. Read all the faults and reset all the faults and you'll be fine. So it's as simple as that. Hope it works. I'll find out as I've now got, well, probably by the time this video comes out, I've already done um, 2,000 miles to do around Europe. So I think I'm gonna burn through maybe one to 10 tanks of fuel. <laughs> um, so I'll soon know how accurate it is now. But um, compared to that shocking 15 to 20% out originally, it should be a bit better now. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is obviously one of many L322 videos. Uh, oh, yeah, there's videos from this one all the way back. There's videos on my last two L322s. Anywhere from replacing transmission to upgrading lights, um, service work on the diffs, the engine, transmissions, coding. There's all sorts. Um, so why not jump back, look at some of the previous content. Um, Stick around for plenty more content, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, I've been Jordan. Cheers.